we're back. Yes. Is this before, uh, honey, we shot the kids? Looks like it. Yes. All right, we should fix the camera before uh, that ever happens. Yes. So we don't have to watch the Ant-Man movie to fix it. All right, let's do it. They're We're back! back. It's, it's with Lord D. Tessinator! Well, it's going to take a while until our ride uh, sends us back to the future. So why don't we watch Back to the Future? So how about let's talk about it since we already did watch it. Yes. That was the trilogy. The tr entire trilogy that we've seen over the course of uh, the times we get to watch it. So Back to the Future, the trilogy. This is the 30th anniversary, and this is actually your copy on uh, Blu-ray, which has a lot of stuff that we did not check out because uh, we don't got time for that. It's true. So we we'll watch the main course. We watch the three films. Although it does come with the uh, digital HD uh, uh, HD movies of it, which is uh, kind of cool. Well, I got it, so thanks yes, a lot for it. that. You're welcome. Uh, so the movie. So this. So when when was the last time we watched the fir or when the was first it? one? Yeah, when did we watch that first one? It was like last year or something. It was. Right? Wow, that's we, a long time ago. We watched it uh, probably. Maybe July of last year or so, or maybe it was maybe, before but, the yeah. the the Back to the Future movie played in theaters. That yeah, yeah. So before October. Yeah, it was definitely before. We October. can definitely confirm that part. I think so it was July or August, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I forget. How did we uh, get to being like, oh, let's watch Back to the Future? Is it because I was like, hey, I've never seen it, and everyone keeps talking about how great it was? Yeah. Or was it because it was back then? It was 2015, and it was like, oh, hey. Yeah, it was, we were trying to do like the 30 year. Anniversary as well, yeah, that made sense. Nineteen eighty-five, two thousand fifteen, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Probably something like yeah. that. So, what did you uh, think of the movie? Oh. Uh, I know you told me you watched the third one, but the first two was like I don't, I forget about that part. Uh, well, the first movie was actually the first movie I ever saw in the theater, but it was a drive-through theater back in nineteen eighty-five. My parents took me. I don't really remember much about it, but it was it was kind of cool that that was actually the first film I saw, and I yeah, I, I mean I like it. Uh, I like the the fact that it's it's going into different time times and it's it's I think it's a timeless movie in a way. Uh, it, it it's aged well, I would say. What would you say? Well, that's was that a pun there? <laughs> it aged well. Yes. <laughs> so the time related thing. Well, um, this trilogy, I gotta say, as uh, you can't think of like the back the individual Back to the Future movies as its own movies because it's just. It's it's just not it's not it doesn't work without the other parts of the movie. It's like a piece of the puzzle. Which is, does that mean there's it's a time continuum? It could it could be. But, <laughs> geez, I'm, I'm I'm pressed up against this for time. But yeah, the Back to the Future trilogy. Uh, saw the first one and uh, I I told you about it. I was like I was didn't okay. I didn't. It was okay, but I wasn't I wasn't blown away by it. I was, um, well, obviously, but I wasn't too impressed with it. I was like, oh, this movie is okay. And then second one? But, th yeah, as, going to, as time went on, yeah. I liked the second one. But I'm not sure if it's because I liked the second movie, because I liked the second movie as... As, as its own. By itself, or it's because I watched the first one, and it kind of connects, and it kind of connects all these, like, threads, For and sure. makes it more interesting... And then we get to the third one, which um, I'm still I, I have the same feeling about like the second one. Like I like the third movie. Third movie, I think I like it the, the most, most out of three. all of it. Yeah. And people actually don't like the third movie because it was weird. Yeah, it was different because they're going like hundred years back in time, which is a big stretch, right? In the Western. Time. You think I liked it because uh, it went back a hundred years and was World was one hundred? Yes, this is quite the puzzle. Wow, <laughs> what a what coincidence! But uh, no, I, I actually do like the third third one. I was actually. Kind of dreading the third one. I you was were? like, I was like, oh, it's gonna take place in the West. What the hell are they gonna do here? But uh, I, I liked it. It was kind of more concise than the other movies, I'd say. Even though it was actually the longest of the three. It yeah, is the longest, I, but it didn't feel that no, way. Was, like the other two movies, I was just like, it. The third movie was not as frustrating as the second one, which even though I did like that one, but uh, you're, but uh. We actually did do a uh, vlog of this, but I was not happy with that, so we re so so went back in time, time yes. to rewrite that. <laughs> You're never going to see that. Uh -huh. But uh, but yeah, that's, the, as a whole, the whole, whole entire trilogy, I, I like the movie. Like, story and the effects are obviously uh, good with the occasional like reminder of Robocop 3 uh, jetpack. Uh, yeah, I could see that. But uh, yeah, I mean, did you like the... The acting throughout, the, like the, the some of the, well, most of the cast did come back with the exception most, of Crispin Gen Glover and as, uh, Jennifer. George. 
Oh yeah, true. Jennifer uh, was replaced by Elizabeth Shue. Yeah, uh, um, main actors are uh, Morning Fly played by Michael J. Fox and uh, Doc Emmett Brown Christopher played by Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd. Um, their chemistry is like great. Like I love yeah. seeing them on screen, especially in the third one. I, I don't know why, but I really like the third one. I don't know if it's because I really like the whole western thing, but yeah. honestly, I was really dreading that third movie. But I wanted to see the conclusion of it because this part two teases you woof it. Yeah, it does. Like it literally shows you the trailer of the third after the end of the second, which is kind of interesting. And, and like we brought something interesting about that. Like the first movie started like it. It came out in like well, what nineteen eighty five? Yeah, yeah. Nineteen eighty five, and then it took what five years later for the second uh, movie. Yeah, that's right. Eighty nine, uh, or was it? Hold on, nineteen ninety. I think it was eighty nine, and then Back to the Future three was nineteen ninety. Actually, yeah, okay, yeah. So sense, the so. second movie took X number of years to like come yeah. out, and then the third movie only took a year to come out. Which, which means um, they were both made around the same time ish. Back to back. Back to back, back to the future. <laughs> okay. It kind of reminds me of like um, Peter Jackson when he filmed Lord, of the, Lord yeah. of the Rings. He filmed it all in one go, and not have like time go by, and then all the actors yeah, get old or some happen. kind of accident happen. Yeah, for sure. But uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I like. I think I think it was a good way to end it. Definitely the third one. Uh, it wasn't really rehashing much. I mean, it does like make fun of certain things. That, of it. I mean, the second one did that too. Yeah, or, yeah. Or which the older I, Biff which... making fun of the, the younger Biff and stuff like that. But well, and the whole using footage from the first movie, which yeah. uh, the way they did it was well done. So I didn't go like, oh, well, that's just cheap reuse footage of it. Which even though they no, they had sometimes some, did. <coughs> they had some stock footage that that, that wasn't used. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, uh, the reason why I say uh, you should watch back to the movie as a whole is um, there's that thing we were kind of complaining about with Marty where it's, he's kept, keep getting called chicken. He doesn't learn from this until the third movie. And then it's like, oh. Third time's a charm. Oh. <laughs> is that what they're saying? <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> That seems to be the thing, but yeah, the, but that's kind of like what, what confirmed it for me is yeah, that for sure. when when you watch the trilogy, it's not it's not a trilogy. It's just one whole movie with three parts in it. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, looking at it as a whole, like I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it as a whole. Yeah, same here, man. Um, I mean, yeah, it just it's just cool that we we got to go into the present and then the past and the future and then the way back you, in the in the past. Yeah, I, I think they did a good job. It surprisingly worked out. Yeah, and I think they did. Uh, they did their homework too. Like they tried to, you know, put some historical things into it, and with the mention of, uh, I don't remember the the book. I think they well, they kind of made fun of the book, right? They gave it its own title, like two hundred thousand. Was it leagues under, under the, the sea? sea? It wasn't. Oh, that, yeah. It wasn't the actual title in because it was right? ten thousand yeah, leagues under the yeah. sea. So they did, you know, make fun of certain. Well, you're trying. You're trying to bring up like product placement stuff, like <laughs> Nike. Uh, what was what was it? Uh, Nintendo with the NES game. Yeah, Wild Gun. Uh, sorry, not Wild Gun. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Wild Gun or Gunman. No, Wild Gunman. That's it. Gunman. Uh, the NES sorry. Jaws game. The <laughs> yeah. it's and Jaws with Steven Spielberg producing. Yeah, it. yeah, for sure. Uh, Michael were... Jackson moonwalking. Oh yeah, Michael Jackson moonwalker. Oh, he... Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. Uh, there was what a was lot of product place. Uh, quite a bit of product placement in the background. Yeah. What else was there? I don't know. There was more. I guess Clint Eastwood being his name. In oh, the, yeah, yeah, or, of course. Or, and then Calvin Klein was his first name in the first one. which Because of the underwear <laughs> product. I was like, oh, wow, well, Good geez. product placement, I guess. Yeah. In his pants. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, were you, are you um, happy that it ended with the third one? Or would you have preferred to see, to you know see what? A, a remake? I don't something? say this a lot. But the, I don't say this a lot for movies of how they end. Because sometimes I do kind of wish a little, there was yeah. a little bit more. But after all the crazy events that happened in uh back to the future i'm just I, like i'm actually satisfied like i'm okay with the characters just being like oh it's time to calm down because after immediately the first movie something happens after the second movie something happens and it's like these are big events it's like oh crap i think we as the audience like like experience like um marty's frustration as he goes through all these timelines and stuff yeah, I think they wanted. They were finally realized that you know what? Let's just live our life. It hasn't been written. Let's just do it and see what happens. And we kind of fix right? most of the problems yeah. too. Yeah. Cheating. <laughs> you know what? I, what I did. If it was possible, I would have liked to see an experiment. Like if time travel was possible, I would have liked to see me, like uh, starting like watching the Back to the Future movies. But like um, the first movie, where 
I watched the first movie, which has already happened, and gave the opinion. I wanted to see what my opinion would have been, or yours, and your opinion. If okay. it's like we started on the diff- on like the second movie or the third movie, like we'd have like three timelines where it's like, oh, what did you think? Because it's like, it's like, um, like, like I said, a- after watching it as a whole, like I really, I-, I can appreciate the movie better now. But if I just watched those individual like, films by itself without right. like context from the other movies. Would I have thought differently about it? And I can't do that right now because no. I know it's it's just like I'm just gonna appreciate well, it in the end. I think we did the right thing to do it to do it in order, right? No, it's it's fair. Yeah, but I, I you know it's just kind of that one of that curious question. Like, what if uh, we didn't watch it in order? Would we have been like, uh, oh, that's kind of weird? And then after the watching the movie, like uh, like either watching back the previous movie, it's like, uh, oh, yeah. okay, I get it now. I think we would have made connections either way. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of connections in uh, yeah. in here that they try to keep, and for the most part, it works. So, uh, are you disappointed about about the year 2015 in the part two? Because we lived through 2015. Yeah, no hoverboards yet, uh, quite. They do have like that. What's the thing called? The, the one that Mike Tyson flipped out. Oh, those, those little. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The thing with the wheel. Yeah, uh, like walking in. <laughs> that was that was, that was kind of a fad, but yeah, it doesn't actually hover like. The Some of the stuff it predicted was right, yeah. like widescreen TV and a video conference, like with Skype. So uh, some of yeah. it was right, and some of it was not right. Hoverboard, self lacing shoes, or the uh, air drying uh, jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and self fitting too. Yeah, self fitting. But I mean, have we come a long way? I mean, and some. To some extent, mm, we have, but uh, some of it's not so much because of imagination. Like, hey, we'd all like a hoverboard. <laughs> well, I'd probably like fall over on it, but that's kind of about it. Uh, let's see. And the score in the movie is, of course, classic. They always play it. And then there was that Alan Silvestri. Yeah. yeah, the do 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 do. It's just like adventure. It's just like an Adventure Time like music. And then they played it like differently each time. Yeah, or in the West, they played a harm yeah, yeah, harmonica yeah. version of it, which was pretty cool. Which was neat. I like small details like yeah. that. Oh, well, what else can we touch on here? I'm trying to think. Hmm. <laughs> well, we can't. Well, we, uh, well, we could, uh, 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 like, plot. It's like, well, everyone knows about the plot at this point, and if they haven't, though, they should just go see it, and they should uh, not be surprised by the spoiler of it. We never saw that thing where Doc or Christopher Lloyd says something about uh, 2015. That would have been something we could have checked out, but uh, we didn't. Yeah, true. Yeah, we didn't really watch the extras. Sorry, guys. But uh, yep, time is not on our hands. But as for the main content, yeah, we watched all of them and we liked them. Yes. Would you, would you recommend it? Yeah. Stupid question. Yeah, you know what? As a whole, this probably is one of the better trilogies out there. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, can you can you think of any other trilogies that that were pretty good from start to finish? Um, uh, I want to say Star Wars. Yeah, that's fair for sure. Uh, uh, let's see. Indiana Jones. Maybe. Uh, I never saw Indiana Jones. Okay, so obviously, we definitely gotta watch those movie. guys. Yeah, we'll be back for those. But uh, yeah, like like I said earlier, repeating a lot of stuff, repeating a lot of stuff, repeating a lot of stuff. Especially if you <laughs> watch this movie or watch this vlog again. <laughs> but um, yeah, just it's not a trilogy. It's a whole thing. But every other movie, like like say Star Wars, that that's tr- that's a trilogy because he does that. Well, there's a continuity. Empire Strikes Back and Jedi: The Return of Jedi are those two movies are together. But like a New Hope, like was a more concise was it, movie. Own, yeah. That worked on its own. On its own. Whereas this yeah. one, it was everything st- works together to be continued, to be concluded, the end, right? So, yeah, yeah, and if if this movie was like divided, which it is, uh, it's not as good. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend watching Back to the Future, and uh, definitely, if possible, marathon it because uh, you would appreciate it a lot better. Yes, and do so with friends, right? Because this movie is definitely telling you the importance of friendship. I would say, right? Like, I mean, you yeah, see yeah, cause, uh, Marty and Doc and uh, uh, their uh, their relation and the love interests they find, you know, along the way for sure. Those are the main things that are important here. That's what they're trying to point out. <laughs> well, and then, uh, did you ever? Okay, did you ever? Did you have any any issues with like the movie? Because no movie is perfect. There's gonna be a few things that like would bug me, bug you, or bug people. Well, I think you were mentioning that at, at times uh, in Back to the Future Two with the almanac. Yeah, the almanac as well. Or, yeah, some of the continuity wasn't was wasn't making sense. And then you said uh, uh, Tom Wilson, who plays the Biff characters in this film, he his accent wasn't like well at one point, but for the most part, like he is. I actually like 
if you, if the movie never told me or the fact that it was like because it's his uh, character's yeah. family line, I wouldn't have really recognized. I, I still didn't recognize it. It still looks like he was played by someone else. And you're surprised that he said due to the. Uh, I was the, like during the West. The West. <laughs> that Nobody was kinda, says that. That was kind of weird. Uh, yeah. So 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 as much as I did like Back to the Future too. It, the thing that bothered me about there is there are things that bother me about it. and It's not the 2015 stuff. It's uh, the, the the whole plot with the almanac where it's like uh, Biff goes back in time or gets an, a sports almanac that predicts the, not predicts but is like recorded all like the all future the uh, sports winning. So he uses that to make money. Fine. The thing that kind of bothers me is like when it goes Donald Trump in this <laughs> world. It's like you're telling me that almanac is still gonna work. How are the gambling yeah. things still gonna exist? And like when he wins the winnings. He probably caused a butterfly effect that caused like like later like winning re- records mm. to not be the same. So it's like he could win that one time. But to win it so many times, yeah. Using the book would be unreliable at that point because it because he changed the timeline. Mm. So it's like he he would have gotten rich that one time. So I feel like the plot of number two, while I liked it, it just like it kind of yeah. worked more in convenience for the for the movie. Yeah, it's a bit over the top. And I mean, if he's trying to cover up. That he, you know, he went back in time. Or he got something. Or he got something from the future. I mean, he didn't really do a good job of covering that up. And then he even had to insult, inser- sorry, had an insult injury by killing, you know, Marty's father. So, yeah, I mean, it just, it just didn't seem realistic that, that, that somebody would do that if they got something from the future. And they would just, like, kind of, like, make it so obvious, you know, right? But... <laughs> I guess Biff's not all there, right? I mean, well, he's not. He's not a bright guy because he. There's a running joke where he tries to make a clever comeback, and someone has to like uh, fix it yeah, for him. Yeah, that's true. And he couldn't count to ten either in the in the West. Or his his ancestors <laughs> yeah, couldn't count to ten. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I, 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 I think like num- number two was the only one that bothered me in terms of a plot. Like one, I just still like oh the movie's kind of okay. But yeah, two was the only one that bothered me, and we were trying to talk about the whole like that alternate <laughs> future with Biff Tad, and then how it was like, uh, oh shit! Hopefully this doesn't turn out to be. Hopefully it's not predicting the Donald Trump thing. Because there are similarities there. It's quite yeah, quite disturbing. Eerily, like, like even the hairstyle and yeah, well, but. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, I think it's time for us to wrap it up. Yes, wrap it up and go back to the future. Yes, for a future review, guys, we'll be back. Take it easy. Oh yeah. Well, I, I guess we don't need to tell them about the Ant Man uh, video we did at some point. So let's we'll, we'll have to find out about that later. Yeah. So, uh, one point twenty one gigawatts, eighty eight miles per hour. It's Wiz Warren D. Tessinator. It's Wiz Warren D. Tessinator. It's Wiz Warren D. Tessinator. It's Wiz Warren D. Tessinator.